Imagine one day you're shopping online for a guitar and end up purchasing a nice Gibson Les Paul. But when the package finally arrives, it's not exactly what you were expecting. You've fallen prey to a bait and switch scheme which illegally advertises goods that appear to be a bargain only to be substituted with something of inferior quality. Like these shoppers that received items of a slightly unexpected size. You're probably familiar with the use of plot twists in books, movies and other media, like in, well, every M. Night Shyamalan movie ever. In a plot twist, the direction or the outcome of the plot changes substantially compared to what the audience is expecting. In a bait and switch, the author deliberately baits the audience into investing their attention into an element of the story, not limited to the plot, to then switch out the expected outcome or payoff at the last second. Like in 2019's Joker, where the main character seemingly has found some happiness in his relationship, until it turns out that the relationship was all in his head the whole time and none of it actually happened. In the interactive spaces that video games offer, we can cleverly implement bait and switch into our layouts. Let's look at an example that really struck me from the game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The protagonist Cal is following his friend Prof down a train. Prof and the door ahead are clearly framed and highlighted as the way ahead, but is actually used as bait. When the player tries to interact with the door, it refuses to open. Only when the player gives up and finally turns around, it's revealed that the whole environment has been switched into an imperial corridor, setting off a kind of vision or dream sequence, after which Cal wakes up, continuing the game's story. But to use a bait and switch, we don't often switch out the actual level behind the player, but use clever composition and breadcrumbing to surprise the player. Let's take a look at a masterclass in using bait and switch from Uncharted 4. On arriving in the entrance hall of an abandoned mansion, the first clear path ahead is the staircase on the right. Hold up. Let's rewind and see that in slow motion. If the path itself wasn't clear enough, there's a lemur running up the railing, which is used as a breadcrumb directing the player's attention to the path the designer wants the player to take. When arriving upstairs, it's clear that it's a dead end. Back downstairs, suddenly the other side of the staircase is presented as a clear path. Note that when the player originally entered the space, the other side of the staircase wasn't even visible yet. Although the staircase also turns out to be a dead end, this time there's an item at the end as a little reward, which makes sure the player doesn't feel like they've backtracked for nothing. Though the item isn't used as bait here, on occasion we can use pickups, chests or other items as bait to lure the player where we want them to go. When the player walks back down again, the real exit is simply right there in front of them and has been there the entire time. We do need to be careful when using bait and switch though. When you spend a lot of time building anticipation towards something that your audience is looking forward to and then switch it out for something less rewarding, they will likely feel disappointed and deceived. Imagine you keep showing this amazing looking castle in the distance that keeps getting closer and closer to then employ a bait and switch that leads them away again. But when used sparingly, bait and switches can be a fun little surprise and break up the expected pacing and structure of your exploration segments. If you would like to see more level design content, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.